Hey guys, Silence here, here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Yes, it's a day late since the event has started, and of course, Basara's brand new costume, which is technically free from the event episode plate. So, for you Basara fans, you've already lost most of your singing stones towards the 7 star edition of your husband Do's episode plate. Uh, you can sigh a bit of a sigh of relief here because we not only have even gacha tickets for Basara's brand new episode plate, we also get costume points um, through the event episode plates in the current event that's going on with uh, him as the center diva as well. Um, but for Min Mei fans, sadly say, to say your waifu's uh, brand new Stella costume that is gonna be locked behind the gacha wall so hopefully you guys have enough singing stones um, for your waifu's brand new costume that's coming up soon uh, technically it should be tomorrow if I'm not wrong let's see if the banner has appeared in the game already and yep yeah, there it is so it appears on the 22nd yes it's tomorrow and of today it is the 21st I'm recording this video so probably you will see Min Mei's gacha video uh, two days from now so <laughs> yeah I gotta give some breathing room for each video you know I gotta give you guys some time to watch it before the brand new one comes up anyway before we dive into the event uh, gacha itself um, congratulations to Wow Kure for hitting number one again in Oricon charts this week yes two times in a row two weeks in a row basically which is a pretty good achievement um, the last time that this has happened I think it was the last um, album or is it single yeah the one that was recently used for the Macross Delta movie as well uh, aside from the culture mixture, it was I think it was Valkyrie Reborn. Yeah, that was the the single if I'm not wrong. Um, so yeah, Valkyrie Reborn, and now the culture mixture. The culture mixture is also now two weeks in a row top of the Oricon charts. So that's pretty awesome. Omedeto to Valkyrie Sama. Uh, all, you know all the 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 staff involved, and of course the five ladies who sang, and of course. Uh, not forgetting uh, Megumi and of course Mayan who are also under the frontier side who are also involved with the deculture mixture so congratulations to all of them uh, all right so let's dive into the gacha page enough dilly dallying let's try not to make a 20 minute long <laughs> gacha video <laughs> it's always best to uh, reduce the amount of time that we needed to, for you guys to watch the video because a lot of us don't have a lot of patience to watch through long videos anyways um so looking at the banner here yes uh, makina's birthday actually occurred two days ago um so i did pull makina's birthday banner so i will probably toss up the uh, fast forward uh, makina birthday gacha clip here um i'll probably show only the steps that i had awesome pulls with uh, so the rest of the pools are probably bad pools or pretty decent ones. Uh, a lot of Makina love as usual because it's a birthday banner. Uh, but the main thing is the last step, um, which is step 6. Um, or was it step 5? I can't remember. So which is a guaranteed 6 star episode plate, which is what I got. Um, which is another costume of Makina that I did not have. So if you're wondering what you probably should look out and decide which Diva's birthday banner you should probably pull aside from your waifus. Of course, my waifu, Ranka, has a birthday this month as well, so I probably might not pull it depending on um, the 6 star or 7 star episode play that's being featured in the birthday banner itself because that many steps it's a lot of money <laughs> um but yes if you're if you're a kind that is actually a costume hunter birthday banners are probably the best way to go about trying to unlock missing costumes from that particular diva itself um like for myself personally i had a lot of missing makina costumes so uh, that's one of the reasons why i went with makina birthday banner and i managed to technically unlock two costumes or rather three um, and of course, the the main one of course being the 7 star episode plate, um, which is the Yami Kure Makina costume, uh, which I really really wanted, let's say, 
Ray Ray's costume is also locked behind, so I'm gonna have to wait for Reyna's birthday <laughs> to maybe get a chance at unlocking the costume. I'm, you know, considering that the featured seven star episode plate here, let's see, it's the cheerleader costume. Um, I don't have this one too, so that's kind of what. Uh, so a lot of seven star episode plates. Now you can see here the birthday banner gacha has the um the cheerleader costume, which also I am missing, so. That's why I decided to pull Makina's costume. So yes, you guys consider all these factors before you decide to pull any Divas birthday banner. Um, I didn't make any video regarding this in the past because birthday banners in the past really didn't give out 7 star episode plates um, until quite recently. Um, I think last year or so. Yeah. And so it, birthday banners really didn't seem to have any point in wasting your singing stones, you know, to try and get certain things. But now, now that they have the guaranteed six star episode play, that's pretty much a good reason for it. <laughs> okay, enough babbling away. Uh, let's try not to delay anything further. Here we have Basara's episode play. So let's take a look at the stats of the episode play. So 4,000. Hey, no, this is the wrong one. This is the seven star version. <laughs> Just looking at his face. Immediately, I went straight for it. Anyways, um, this is the 6-star featured Basara episode plate. <laughs> so at its total value of 3,883... Uh, 3,883! I am losing my mind today. Really tiring day. Anyways, yeah. Um, so without the luck, it comes in at 3,633, which is technically a bit higher from Mikumo's recent 6-star episode plate, um, it's about 7 point difference. So as usual, um, you know, the later the episode plate appears, the more powerful it is compared to the rest of the plates that have appeared within the month itself. So yes, and sadly to say, this episode plate can only be used by Basara, so that's kind of a bummer. So luckily, Miku, uh, Min Mei's episode plate that's coming up next would definitely be usable by 3 other divas as well. Alright, focusing on the stats, voice gets the highest quantity, followed by soul, and of course, charm takes the dump once again. Oh, the charm stat has really been not feeling enough love recently. <laughs> Center skill, voice up units, voice is boosted by 90% up, which is fantastic for you know high score purposes. Um, active skill, 5 second duration, 70% boost in score, you know, not the best. I view active skill, but you know, if you have nothing else to use, why not? Short ability, so diva, score, and damage. So if you guys are not familiar with this, basically for um, a long run period, or rather, it's a short duration ability. But you know, score and damage is basically um, they give you a higher percentage boost in score, but you take damage along the way. So for uh, 16 second duration, every second you lose 20 health, so that's kind of a dangerous thing. But you know, for the score purposes uh, um, during this event itself, it's definitely needed. Last page, ooh, seems like almost all the plates have been given special notes nowadays, so it's kind of it's feeling kind of common now. <laughs> I wonder if Dana is prepping to make things a bit more interesting in the future, like even if special note attachments are common thing, maybe they might implement something new and rarer that might boost the game even further. Who knows? Let's see. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below as always. Um, so let's do this. We're gonna pull Basara's episode plate. Um, sadly to say, as you can see here, I'm kind of lacking uh, a bit of singing stones for mid maze gacha pool, so that's kind of a bummer. Hopefully I can get 40 singing stones somehow or rather before the next video have to appear. Because I I kind of used up all my stones on Makina's birthday right now, but it was well worth it. <laughs> anyway, let's do this. We'll do the free pool from the evening session gacha today. Um, I don't have to do a template pool from the Super Dimension gacha yet because the next ticket is going to expire only on the 26th of April, so we've still got a bit of time. We'll probably do it on Min May's gacha video. Okay. So no Valkyries at all for this free pool, that's fine. No, we would like to reserve the luck for the main banner itself. 
too. Points for Kanami's costume. That's pretty nice. Alright. So it's still a bit of a rare plate considering that I've got like low single digit counts of that copy. So that's fine. Okay. So let's do the single free food from the featured Basara banner, the correct one. <laughs> Alright. So let's go. Any Valkyries? No Valkyries, that's fine. By the way guys, I've updated the Instagram page with the latest information from tonight's episode of Makutoma, um, which is Macross Guard for Moranai. If you guys don't know, it's the weekly update um, broadcast from Macross itself um, regarding all the latest information of Macross events, merchandise and all that kind of stuff. So go check it out on the Instagram page. Links in the description down below. So yeah, we didn't have anything rare from that single free pool, so it seems like today's luck is not really there. Uh, if you're wondering, am I gonna do the discounted pool for Basara? No, I am not, because we're getting free uh, template, templates from the event gacha tickets, and we are getting costume points from the event plates itself, so there's really no reason to do the discounted pool. And we've got a load bar. Hmm. Here we go. One, two, three. Okay, so mediocre Valkyrie animation luck. No red boxes on the first blink. That's a really loud motorbike going through my neighborhood. Okay, so we did get a rainbow box on the second blink, including two red boxes. Oh, double copies. Oh, evolving. Okay, Elaine is here to bless our pool. And okay, it's still within the Macross 7 universe and um, Shivil's plate is actually useful because I'm actually using it. Oh, why did it lag? Oh! oh! <laughs> so yeah, I was like saying, Shivil's episode plate is actually a useful plate because it has a special note attachment with item note attached to it. So it's really good for the event gacha tickets um, event. So that's not too bad. Plus, Basara's wedding episode plate. So that's Nice. I think it's gonna involve my plate for him. Okay, so we didn't get the featured Basara plate, but that's fine. We still got two copies of six star, um, five star episode plate. So, hey, there we go. It evolved. Nice. Loving that bouquet of blue flowers. Very, very sweet. Okay. So yeah, like I said, uh, Shivu's um episode plate is pretty awesome. There we go. We've got that ten points for item notes. Which is very, very useful for the first event of the month, like I said. So guys, that's it for today. It isn't much, but like I said, uh, if you guys have been keeping up with what I've been mentioning throughout the whole video, you should really conserve your singing stones from this gacha, um, considering how blessed we are with the costume points for Basara's costume. So yeah, guys. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Hopefully, it's kind of short. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video you know after you do all the wonderful youtuber stuff you know like share subscribe comment down below bye